Welcome to SATCONS 101, an educational activity of the International Astronomical Union's Center for the Protection of the Dark and Quiet Sky from Satellite Constellation Interference, or CPS. This activity aims to promote factual understanding of large satellite constellations in order to help participants come to reasoned and informed opinions about this important social and technological issue. The topic of today is impacts on optical and infrared astronomy. The Center's mission is to coordinate efforts and unify voices across the global astronomical community with regard to the protection of the dark and quiet sky from satellite constellation interference. My name is John Barentine, and I co-lead the Community Engagement Hub of CPS. My training is in optical and infrared astronomy, and my current professional work involves freelance consulting. Since 2019, I have worked on policy and advocacy issues around large satellite constellations. I will present to you on today's topic. These are the learning objectives of the SATCONS 101 curriculum. Participants will gain exposure to these ideas in the course of viewing all of the presentations in the series. Opportunities to learn more about any given topic will be offered in each module, as well as to contact the Center for further information. SACCONS 101 is a series of learning modules covering eight broad subject areas. Each module is a short, self-contained video presentation covering one of the subject areas. They can be viewed individually or in any combination up to the full set. Viewing all eight presentations constitutes exposure to the complete SATCONS 101 curriculum. Today, we will focus on the topic of impacts on optical and infrared astronomy. In the next few minutes, I will discuss each of the following elements that relate to the topic of this video. Satellites can affect astronomy in various ways. A small number of dim satellites is expected to yield little interference and may not affect our ability to conduct scientific research in significant ways. Under certain circumstances, their presence can impact astronomical observations to the point where the data are compromised. We will look at different potential harms beginning with optical and infrared astronomy. Satellites orbiting high above our planet remain in sunlight as seen from the Earth's night side they reflect and scatter the sunlight in various directions, including toward the Earth. Especially around dusk and dawn, we see them by way of this reflected sunlight. As their orbital motion carries them around the Earth, they appear to move across the night sky. This motion can be faster or slower depending on how high their orbits are and how far away they are from us when we see them. These moving points of light leave luminous streaks or trails in long exposure photographs of the night sky. They can overwhelm electronic detectors, leaving behind ghost images and other artifacts. And they can obliterate the faint signals of asteroids and distant light sources in the cosmos that astronomers study. As the number of satellites in orbit increases, the night sky changes. Strategies to avoid observing satellites come at the cost of lost telescope time. This time may involve moving the telescope away from looking in the direction of oncoming satellites. In other cases, the telescope may sit idle while waiting for the satellite to pass. It is also possible that avoidance techniques can bias certain kinds of scientific measurements. More study is needed to understand the significance of these concerns. Not all astronomical data takes the form of direct images of the cosmos. Scientists also study the spectrum of light. Certain instruments use optics to disperse the incoming white light into the colors of the rainbow. Dark or bright features superimposed on the rainbow tell us about the physical conditions in the universe. From these spectra, we can learn how fast objects are moving, what they're made of, and how hot or cold they are. Each spectrum is unique, like a human fingerprint. The sum of all the sources of incoming light determines the appearance of spectra. That includes unwanted light from sources like the Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers have developed techniques to account for and even remove these influences. 
Because satellites reflect sunlight back to Earth, they have a spectrum much like that of the sun, shown here at left. If their light enters a telescope while a spectrum is being recorded, the process will capture the sun's spectral features as well. This can confuse the spectrum of cosmic light intended for observation. In the infrared, satellites can emit their own light by virtue of their warmth. This too adds to the cosmic spectra. It may be difficult to detect this contamination, so astronomers may not even know that their data are compromised. Telescopes on the ground can distinctly see space objects in low Earth orbit down to about the size of a small car. While radar can detect smaller objects of a few centimeters in size, these do not leave light trails in astronomical images. But the light from these objects still lands on telescope mirrors, in camera lenses, and in human eyes. When the optical system cannot resolve an object as a discrete point of light, this light becomes part of the surrounding night sky. The resulting effect is that these small objects can make the sky brighter than it would be if there were none. When the brightness of the night sky increases, it makes detecting faint astronomical objects more difficult. Astronomers must take longer exposures to sense that faint light against a bright night sky. In turn, this means more time is required to collect the necessary data to answer scientific questions. It represents a potential efficiency loss, especially for telescopes with very wide fields of view. Such telescopes are often used to conduct wide area sky surveys. As the sky brightens due to space objects, the result can add time and cost to complete these surveys. And it adds to the effect of light pollution on the ground. While telescopes can be built further away from cities, Every location on Earth is subject to this kind of light pollution from space. But not all light the telescopes see is of the same variety to which our eyes are sensitive. Astronomical research depends on detecting light from beyond the visible spectrum. Some of that light can only be detected from space because the Earth's atmosphere absorbs it. Among the types of light that can reach through the atmosphere is infrared light. Detecting this light is often challenging because the atmosphere itself emits some infrared radiation. Satellites and space debris can also contribute this kind of light. They do this by absorbing light from the sun and radiating it in the infrared part of the spectrum. Since telescopes on the ground look through the region of space where satellites and debris orbit, their light can make it difficult to see faint infrared signals from the cosmos. This light represents another kind of artificial background that elevates the brightness of the night sky. Thank you for watching this presentation. For additional information about this and other subjects related to large satellite constellations and their impacts on astronomy in the space environment, contact the center at the address or website shown here.